holy nostalgia. Hey everyone, welcome to this special episode of the Nostalgia Test Podcast. I'm your host, Dan Dissinger. And on January 16th of this year, the boys there at the Buzz in the Tower podcast, Mo Max, invited Manny and I to recast the classic 90s action film, Independence Day. And we went crazy on that. I had to record it at a veggie grill in Santa Monica. It was a quick record. You'll see that we're using just earbuds, but we just had to get to it. We were just dying to do it. And... um Buzz in the Tower cut our crazy, weird nine-minute clip down to this amazing, um, energetic, like four four minutes or so. So we thank them for like going through that. But we'd like to release the whole nine and a half minutes of our recast of Independence Day, where we just go crazy, just having fun recasting independence day we'll have an episode coming next week and hopefully we'll get to the independence day nostalgia test soon um follow the nostalgia test everywhere you get podcasts and enjoy this special episode what's up guys this is manny and dan from the nostalgia test podcast i want to thank mo and max the buzz and the tower boys for inviting us here to give you guys our recast and first i want to say welcome to the 90s be kind rewind there you go we've been doing the 90s since 2020, and we're happy that you are here and joining, and we cannot wait to see what you guys come out with. So Absolutely. my first recast, I'm jumping right into it. Do recast, it. taking Will Smith out. I'm getting Cuba Gooden Jr., putting him in from Jerry Maguire. His character from Jerry Maguire would be great. I want him to punch that that alien and be like, now that was a close encounter. I'm taking <laughs> on. I'm taking Goldberg out, and I'm putting Tom Hanks. Now, Goldberg. this, not Goldberg. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, he's out of there, and we're putting Je Tom Hanks. Now, I couldn't really, I was thinking, like, Castaway, but I know that's not the 90s, so I'm no. thinking more, I'm thinking more, like, Forrest Gump. Oh, my God. Because Forrest Gump was, you know, he 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 met, like, four presidents. He started it. a whole million dollar, like, a shrimp company. He fought in the Vietnam War. Why not get him in an alien ship? And get him out there. Absolutely. Um, helping out Cuba Gooden. Absolutely. Then then I got the crazy pilot. Randy Wade's Quaid. character. Wayne's crazy character. Get, guess what? He's going out. Jim Carrey. Lyle, Lyle, Jim Carrey anything. Wow. Just Lyle. Lyle, Lyle <laughs> Truman Show. Whatever. Get Jim Carrey in there. Because imagine Jim Carrey's face. I'm back. Oh That's it. God. That would be insane. We'll get, we'll get him. And I think I had, I had uh, Matthew McConaughey in there. But... I think the president, Ed Harris. Oh, Ed Harris. Oh, I was thinking of doing that. <laughs> Ed Harris, bro. Ed Harris, the king of the 90s, the king of the 2000s. That guy always has a job. That guy is one of my favorite character actors of all time. Like, you can't. He's Ed Harris. He could do whatever. So, so I'm Ed down. Harris from anything in the 90s, basically. Anything in the 90s. Because he's, he's just Ed Harris. Like, just. <laughs> but amazing. he, but you would be like, maybe Abyss, but like. And the, no, the Rock. I'm sorry. Oh, the there rock. we go. The Rock. Remember him in yeah. The Rock? Yeah. Okay, he's the guy from The Rock, but now he's the president. And oh, he puts on it. that speech. I love it. That's it. What I do you it. got? Do it. Okay, so. What do you got? I went deep. I went real deep because I was thinking like 90s, but I was just like, first part of me was like 90s teen movies, right? Can I cast this like a 90s teen movie? But then there were some other people I was like, it's got to go crazy. So for Will Smith, I'm Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum. I'm doing together right now because my favorite duo of all time is Jay and Silent Bob. So I'm putting Jason Mewes in as Will Smith, and I'm putting in Kevin Smith as Silent Bob in for Jeff Goldblum. Now I know Jeff Goldblum has a lot of lines, and Silent yes. Bob has zero lines and everything, but that doesn't matter. No. I think it would be great if he just stood there and just reacts yes. because Jason. <laughs> And Jason Mewes, I think, would be great if he punched the alien and said, welcome to Earth. Because he, Jason Mewes is one of the most underrated actors of the 90s. Absolutely. Yeah. Dogma, Malrats, Clerks, everything. Jane Silent. I mean, even to the 2000s. I mean, he gets even better, I think. And shout out to Jason Mewes, you know. So th those two for those two parts. When it comes to Randy Quaid, I'm going in a totally crazy direction. I'm casting Feruza Balk from The Craft. <laughs> what? Yes. Yeah. she's insane in everything she does and okay. i thought she was amazing in the craft and i think like you need someone that's gonna have like first of all you need someone out of left field for that part so i think feruza balk and and I, when i think 90s especially like women in the 90s and teen movies and stuff 
I think Feruza Balk. She was like quintessential like <laughs> 90s actress, right? I love but that we're Rusa. making this a teen movie now. Absolutely. So then when I, but this is where it takes this is where it takes a turn here. But for, for Bill Pullman's character, I'm going deep. This is a deep cut. I'm going Glenn Close, cameo in Hook. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so J Max and Max and Mo, if you don't, if you, when you go into the '90s, you have to look deep. You have to go into the cameos because there's some crazy cameos going on. These movies. Crazy, crazy. Glenn Close hook, like hook. no reason why she was there. It she was didn't crazy. even be in that movie, but she was like, no. "I want to be in this." She film. gets put into this like, like snake. Yeah, like the the, the snake box or whatever it was. It was crazy. I want her. To, I want that person to do that speech that Bill Pullman does. Okay, yeah. so that's what I'm going. I'm, now I'm going even, I'm going to keep going, right? I'm going to keep going and cast the whole major cast. Robert Loge's character, I'm taking out and putting Samuel L. Jackson from Pulp Fiction. A hundred percent. You even got Robert Loge's character out? Okay. Now, I'm, I'm recasting right. Robert Loge with Samuel L. Jackson from Pulp Fiction. I mean, that character has the greatest monologues and you need someone that's just going to scream. Now, the thing was yes. this, I was debating whether or not to put Samuel L. Jackson in in uh, Jeff Goldblum's character and as the his character from Jurassic Park when he said, hold on to your butts. Yes, because, that so could I, work. I was debating. But once I had Jason Mewes in there, I was like, we're going full out because I had Keanu Reeves in there as uh, Will Smith's character. But I, I I went in a different direction. OK, now. Judd Hirsch's character, who is Jeff Goldblum's father, I'm recasting as Sandra as Janine Garofalo from Reality Bites and like the entire 90s. Okay. Kill him. Yeah. Kill him. yeah it's, good. it's like, she is amazing. And you need someone really quirky to do that part. 100%. Okay. 100%, right? We're going to keep going here because. <laughs> Janine Garofalo and her, and her, her son is. Is Jay is Jay? It's Silent Bob. It's Silent Bob. Yeah. So yeah. she does most of the talking for <laughs> Silent Bob. Exactly. There you okay. go. Exactly. There you yeah. go. There you she go. then has to be on the ship. She has to be. She's has always to be. gonna has to be around. And she, she has to be does. around to talk for Silent Bob because she's Love gonna it. be talking to Jason Muse's character. Yes. The whole time. Fine. The <laughs> okay. I like it. Okay. So then there's Margaret Collin who played like with Secretary of Defense or she was one of the people in the yes. cabinet, right? I'm recasting her with Sandra Bullock from either Practical Magic or Speed. One or okay. the other. And I think right. that's and that's that means that Sandra Bullock is gonna have to also interact with Silent Bob. Because they were yes. to be married. Okay. All right. So all, right. all these people have Let's to interact go. with like Silent Bob, and they have yes. no way of doing. This is that. just becoming an Independence Day Silent Bob movie. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. With, okay. With Jason Hughes <laughs> screaming the entire time yeah. and just cursing. This has to be a rated R film. Okay. Yes. We have to change this to rated R. I'm recasting. Yeah, we wouldn't even be able to be on on the Buzz in the Tower because we would just be cursing the whole time. Oh, that's right. Movie. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I know you guys are PG, but when you go to the 90s, I mean, there's a lot of rated R films. I mean, let's get with it, guys. So now I'm going Brett Spiner, who is a doctor who got killer clowned. And yes. I'm going to uh, recast him with Matthew Lillard from SLC Punk. Okay. Or Scream. Either one. Because that okay. character is such a weirdo. And I think you have to have someone like that's a real character -y actor. And Matthew Lillard, I think, killed the 90s in that way, 100%. I like it. I yeah. like it. And I have one last recast, too. But I have one, Vivica A. Fox, <laughs> who is the wife or girlfriend of uh, Will Smith. Yes. I'm taking her out, and, then, and I'm putting in Tisha Campbell from Martin. So now you have Tisha Campbell interacting with Jason Mewes, right? <laughs> <laughs> In the beginning scene, right? It would be amazing. It would be unbelievable. Oh, this is teaching. I want to see this movie. Yeah. Last recast. Mary McDonald. What was the last one? Let's go. Who played the first lady. Who She was okay. I mean, literally, she just died in the film. We're re I'm recasting her with Jodie Foster from Contact. Straight up. Just Love it. You don't need that much. It's not much to it. Okay. No, I like no. it. That's yeah. it. That's okay. it. That's it. Uh, what about that one? The, well, we're going to throw in a little one, and, and it was uh, recast all the aliens with the uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yeah, it just makes it. I think Killer Clowns is like 88, 89. Yeah, but, we could stretch it. Let's stretch it. Killer Clowns 2, yeah. it came yeah. out. I mean, deal with it. We'll guys. just say. Deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or we recast them with the aliens from Mars Attacks. Oh, all right. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Well, <laughs> Mo Max, thanks again for inviting us. Guys, don't forget to go to the Nostalgia Test Podcast. Follow us on Instagram. Check us out on anywhere you go to get your podcasts. Yeah. And be kind. Rewind. Peace. Thanks, guys. Peace. <laughs> Thanks for listening to today's episode. Please subscribe to the Nostalgia Test Podcast to know when new episodes drop. Don't forget to leave us five stars and a positive review so more people can find the podcast. Share your thoughts and memories on today's topic on our Twitter at Nostalgia Test and on Instagram at The Nostalgia Test. Tune in next time because you never know what pop culture will pop up on The Nostalgia Test. <laughs>